The launch of Pal World to the public is just three days away from the time that I post this video, and today I wanted to dive into the different types of servers that we will have options of playing on in Pal World. I'm gonna go over what I consider to be the pros and cons for each of them. Let's go ahead and start off by talking about the official servers. Again, this is all just opinion based. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about the official servers. Some of the pros are competition not even just being player versus player competition but you can develop competition like best pals rarest pals the best base build fastest faction completion even the fastest game completion best gear there's a lot of different stuff that you can turn into a competition when you're playing on official servers with other players. Talking about other players though, another pro is actually the community. Over here on the live servers, there are a lot of things that can happen, such as establishing a trade and in-game economy. I'm not sure if you can trade pals, but if you can, surely that'll turn into some sort of in-game economy over on the live servers. But ammo and gear, even if there's not a direct trade window, could be traded by just dropping the items on the ground. A little bit of a trust trade going on. And talking about trust, you know, you could build up guilds with your friends and rival other guilds with your enemies in a live environment. Perhaps a trust trade went south between two guilds and once PvP is launched, depending on what that looks like, things get a little bit hairy. Again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, but I don't want this video to be overly long. So let's just go ahead and move on to what I consider to be the cons of the official servers. The first thing is griefing. Obviously, griefing is something that's gonna happen in every online environment, but it can be really detrimental, especially if the building is like free for all and perhaps one guild just completely blocks off an entire area with walls that they were able to put up or something. I'm sure there will be some sort of moderation on the official servers, especially at the launch and following the launch, but even with moderation, griefing is always a problem. But my next con with the official servers is the server cap. It's only at 32 players, which is concerning because one guild can basically run an entire server. A guild doesn't even necessarily have to be that big to end up shutting down competition inside of a server. Imagine you're just rolling into a 20 versus 12 situation or a 24 versus eight situation you don't necessarily have to fill up the entire population of a server to end up eliminating the competition. And again, this kind of depends on how PVP ends up looking, whether it's a dueling or free-for-all style system, which leads me to talking about the fact that official servers also tend to get overrun with hackers. This will be a problem that's exacerbated if, if it's a uh, free-for-all style PVP. If it's just a dueling style PVP, you know, you're still going to have the hackers, but I imagine that it will be a lot less because the uh, risk versus reward, if you will, just isn't quite there. Aside from all of that though, I have some more cons here, which are the possibility that the servers end up crashing or being full and you're sitting in a queue and anything else that could really happen with these servers that might end up stalling your progression, especially directly on launch day. But even even with all of that being said, there was a lot more cons than pros in my opinion, but overall, I think it will be a more fun experience to jump into the online servers because they bring that aspect of the online competition to the table. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, but let's go ahead and move on to the off line servers. Now I'm talking about the servers that you are playing entirely solo by yourself offline. Some of the pros being that obviously you're going to be able to play offline. That's huge. Your internet goes down for any extended period of time. You can still jump in and jump on to some pal world, which is nice. Not only that, but you're going to be free to build what you want and where you want without having to worry about getting in anybody's way or adding to any sort of lag that may be happening. I think a really important thing to take note of with the offline servers is that you're gonna be able to experience the game at your own pace without having to worry about meta gaming, which is gonna give you a lot more freedom to experiment with your pals, loadouts with what pals you're taking into battle, maybe with what pals you're breeding and using for base design. All of that, you're gonna have a lot more freedom to experiment with on an offline server where you're not being pressured by 
outside forces to keep up. And honestly, I think on top of all of this, you shouldn't expect any major server issues that end up slowing or stopping your progress because again, you are offline, which is huge. Some of the cons with the online server, in my opinion, is it might be a bit boring. You have a lack of friends, a lack of competition, no one to share your accomplishments with. And this is a con, but in my opinion, it's not really a con because I, per I prefer challenges challenging myself and I feel like a lot of people feel this way but it could possibly be harder having to play solo is definitely going to slow down your progress whereas in with a guild you could really burn through the entire game fairly quickly but solo it's going to take you a while to get up to sniper rifle bullets or something maybe I'm not entirely sure but when it comes to like the bosses and stuff all of that should be soloable if you're good enough you know and even if you're not good enough I don't anticipate it being too incredibly hard just that progress of getting to the weapons and the gear and the armor and stuff like that definitely gets slowed down when you're playing these survival games solo. Overall, these offline servers, I don't think they're a bad choice if your internet ends up getting knocked out or if you're just looking to play a bit more passively. Also, me personally, I prefer recording my how-tos and guides inside of a solo environment, so there is that. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the offline servers. And there is one more type of server that I just wanted to briefly go over and that is the hosted servers and I'm not talking about servers that are hosted to be played with a group of four friends I'm talking about hosting the full 32 player online servers starting off with the pros these can obviously be modded to enhance or even completely change the experience that you have inside of pal world and whether or not this is good really depends on what type of mods are available as well as the game's population and so many other variables so it's it's kind of, I'm 50-50 on hosted servers as to whether or not they end up turning into anything good, which brings me into the cons, starting with the fact that they're normally pay to win because of the server's rental cost. Whoever's hosting the server is paying some third party to actually host that server on their servers, which comes with a cost to it. And because of that, normally all of these turn into some sort of pay to win and have some sort of pay to win mechanic. Not to mention the fact that, again, they can die out at any time if the player population isn't sticking up to where it needs to be or if the game mode isn't as fun as people thought it was going to be. And finally, just like the online server, these are prone to hackers and griefers, just the same as the official online servers. So I think whether or not these hosted servers end up being any good really just depends on what sort of mods end up getting made for the game what multipliers can be added and what sort of experiences can end up being crafted inside of these servers we're only three days away from the launch of this game to the public and i am still super hyped let me know down in the comments if you made it this far in the video by dropping like made it or something down there so i can give you an extra shout out when it comes to the launch of pal world we are going to be going live at kick.com slash fringe patriot gaming so be sure to go drop a follow over there not to miss out and speaking of the launch i'm going to be dropping a poll on the channel to figure out exactly how this should go down get your guys's feedback to see how you guys want this to go down basically the question is should we be playing on a offline server or should we jump onto some of the official servers be sure to go drop a vote on that if you want your voices heard as to how we end up playing the launch of pal world but that's all i wanted to go over in this video hope you guys all have an amazing day i'm out